the next two to three years, the biggest change in the radio network uh, would be the innovation around openness. So open infrastructure, the ability to integrate multiple products, ability to innovate on data and on edge for collected from radio networks, and more importantly, to build more softwareized radio networks. This would change the way the radio network is built today and how it is consumed by operators. It would also mean that it would bring loads of opportunities to innovate or because radio network will be converted into a platform. And platforms are always the most important driver for innovation. I think it's a, one of the major innovation to have come in the mobile industry in the past decade or so. And I say this with conviction because a significant part of the mobile operator's cost is the radio access network. And the whole of the virtualization uh, movement, if I may say so, for the past several years actually didn't touch the radio network. So basically the elephant in the room continued to remain and the virtualization completely missed the ORAN uh, the, the radio network part. So ORAN and virtual RAN and prior to ORAN virtual RAN I think is the most important innovation to have happened in the mobile network today. Uh, making radio network softwareized, making it more accessible in terms of uh, operational agility uh, has been a priority for many mobile operators and it's now we are seeing actually we are seeing uh, is seeing it work. The virtualization of the RAN I think has more or less getting stabilized today. Uh, so we can see more and more radio networks getting getting virtualized and even getting deployed. Uh, from an ORAN perspective, uh, there are uh, there are proof of concepts have been done by majority of the tier one operators who have invested in ORAN. Uh, early deployments and in fact uh, feasibility for large deployments have already started. We have seen several operators making big announcements around their ORAN ambitions, particularly in the number of sites that they have been announcing are very encouraging that they would be deploying thousands of sites in, in the next two, three years, which is an ex excellent uh, traction, I believe. Uh, from, from a specification point of view, there is still work, some work in progress. Uh, for example, there are certain pre-standards available today and the new standards are still being developed. Uh, the orchestration and the management piece is very critical to the ORAN uh, ecosystem, particularly to make it scalable and making it work across different uh, sites and making it more accessible to the operations. Uh, that part, I would, I would say it will take a little more time to stabilize, which is okay because it's a new thing and new thing takes time. Uh, but in general, if you look at the radio network accept, the pure radio network aspects, uh, it's pretty much uh, there. Uh, with some modifications, better performance improvements, uh, more hardening, uh, better security testing would happen in the next few years and that would make it fully ready. So it's, it's going in the right direction in my opinion. End of the day, a radio network is a radio network. So it is standards based and it is expected to perform at a certain level and we all expect it to work in a certain level, right, in terms of performance, in terms of capacity. So how do the operators really differentiate? So the operators will have to differentiate on the X apps and on the RIC uh, R apps uh, because that is where the operator's secret sauce on making the best use of Open RAN or ORAN and providing some value to their customers as well as to themselves. So to me, the X apps is absolutely critical for an operator to bring some of their own secret sauce and differentiate with other operators. So there are two or three ways to go about with it. One, they can build it themselves. Then they can ask system integrators like us to build it. They can also tap uh, to the external developer ecosystem who are actually quite good at crunching data and finding the right algorithms to provide value to the overall automation of the system. So there are multiple models that we see there. Uh, and uh, there is no one single uh, solution for this. But if you look at it in the long run, the operators will have to invest in XAPs in order to differentiate, absolutely.